Hey, what's going on guys? Benjamin here with Motivational Marketer and in today's video, I'm going to be talking about how to promote your affiliate offers. Hey, how's it going guys? I hope you guys are doing great. And if you didn't see my last video, I talked about how to make money with ClickBank, but more specifically, how to pick a product from ClickBank and understanding all the variables that each product has. And if you guys didn't see that, I'll leave a link somewhere around here so you guys can check that out. So in this video, I'm gonna be talking about how to promote your affiliate offers. Whether you're using ClickBank, Amazon Associates, or you're a part of another affiliate program. But before I get into that, I just wanna welcome you guys to my channel and I invite you guys to subscribe if you guys are new here and hit the bell notification so you can be notified when I upload new video. So the first thing I wanna talk about before I talk about how to promote your affiliate offers is the importance of picking a niche that you're passionate about. So if you don't pick a niche that you're passionate about, eventually you're gonna lose interest and you're gonna to wanna to give up. So you're gonna to wanna to think about the long term. When you pick a niche that you're passionate about, you're gonna put that extra effort in order to see yourself succeed in this business. Because at the end of the day, that's what this is, is a business. If you're looking to make a quick buck through affiliate marketing, I mean, this isn't a get rich quick scheme, this is an actual business. So jumping right into it on how to promote your affiliate offers, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is create content consistently around your niche. Now this is only if you don't have a huge budget to spend on advertisements. I know most people who are starting out in this business have a very limited budget. So creating content is the best way to go because it's free. So I want you guys to decide what method you're gonna use to create content. Is it gonna be Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, is it gonna be YouTube? Are you gonna start a blog? That's something that you need to think about. So you need to decide on one and stick to it until you learn how to master it. And then start focusing on another one. So like I said, this is something that you need to think about for the long term. The next thing I want you guys to think about is what kind of content are you gonna create? Are you gonna create tutorials? So for example, if you're in the beauty niche, you can create makeup tutorials and you can leave your affiliate links in the description. Are you gonna be creating content about product reviews? So for example, if you're in the technology niche, you can be reviewing a product like, say the latest iPhone. You can be talking about the pros and cons of the product and have your affiliate link in the description. Is it gonna be side-by-side -side comparisons? So say for example, if you're in the health and fitness niche, you can be doing uh, this versus that comparison between two weight loss supplements and you can link both of those product links in your description and you can have the audience decide which product is best for them the next thing you need to focus on when creating content is giving value you always have to add value when creating content try to have your target audience learn something new every time they read watch or listen to your content are you solving a problem that your target audience is facing? If not, that's something that you need to be focusing on. If you can entertain your target audience as well, that's gonna be a bonus. So the goal of adding value to your content is to build trust among your target audience. And also when you add value, people are gonna be looking forward to reading your content, watching your content, or listening to your content, depending on what method you're using. So the next thing you're gonna wanna do is create a lead magnet. So what a lead magnet is, is something that's gonna capture your target audience's attention. You need to give away something of value for free. So this can be something like an ebook, a link to a video, a trial membership, a survey, or anything else that you can think of that's gonna capture your audience's attention and that's gonna give them value. You're gonna wanna do this in exchange for their email. So after you do that, you're gonna to wanna to set up an autoresponder. So the reason why you're giving away free value in exchange for your target audience's email, you're gonna send them automated emails. 
So whenever you create new content, whether you're using a blog, creating a video, or creating a new post, you're gonna wanna send your target audience an email to let them know, hey, I just created some more content. You can check it out right here through this link. So you're gonna use the autoresponder sequence to stay in contact with your target audience. You can use the autoresponder sequence to promote your affiliate offers in their emails, and this is called email marketing. You can promote exclusive offers, let them know, hey, I got this offer for a limited time. If you don't respond now, the offer is gonna be gone. Something simple as that. And if you don't know where to sign up for autoresponder services, you can go to SendLane, you can go to GetResponse, and I think MailChimp has autoresponder services. Now these are gonna charge you a fee. I'm not sure exactly how much each website charges for this fee, but this is something you're gonna want to invest in if you're serious about affiliate marketing. And the last thing you're gonna wanna do is always give a call to action, or it's better known as a CTA. So after you provide valuable content to your target audience, you're gonna always wanna give them a call to action. Because if you don't, you're missing out on a chance for a potential sale. So after you provide valuable content in your emails, or your blog posts, your videos, or whatever method you're using, you always wanna give a call to action. It could be something as simple as saying, if you enjoyed this valuable content, click the link to learn more, click the link to sign up now, something as simple as that. I mean, that's pretty much it when it comes to promoting your affiliate offers. I hope you guys got some value out of this video. If you learned something new, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and let me know in the comments what you guys think. And if you're serious about affiliate marketing, I'm gonna leave a link in the description below on my personal recommendation on how to make a full-time income online. And if you're still unsure about affiliate marketing, I'm gonna leave another link for a free ebook download called Affiliate Marketing Ideas. And what this book does is it helps you decide what niche you wanna promote and also gives you the options of what platforms you can use to promote your affiliate offers. I mean, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. So with that being said, I'll catch you guys in the next one.